Opposition leader Dr. Peter Phillips says he could consider court action if necessary to force the government to reconsider its position on the national identification bill. Speaking at a press briefing at the party's headquarters on Tuesday, Dr. Phillips questioned why the bill was rushed at the expense of properly implementing safeguards for Jamaicans. TVJ's Anthony Lugg reports. We are about the best deal for the people of the country, and that's why we voted against it. That's the leader of opposition business in the Senate, Donna Scott Motley, at a press briefing on Tuesday. The PNP called a press briefing to address concerns about the National Identification Bill after long deliberation on Friday, which resumed and ended on Monday. The opposition senators voted against the bill, and opposition leader Dr. Peter Phillips wants the government to reconsider its position, and here's why. The bill that came to the Senate and which the government moved in the Senate differs in substantial ways from the bill that came through the House of Representatives. And while making that point, Dr. Phillips made it clear that the opposition was not against a national identification system. However, he said the bill was flawed from inception. The way in which the bill was approached shows that careful enough preparation was not done. There were a hundred amendments in the lower house to the bill. And then in the upper house, further amendments were made. The senators managed to secure 168 amendments, which added to the 100 amendments secured in the lower house, meant that there were 268 amendments in total. Even with those concerns, the National Identification Bill was passed. But here are the reasons opposition senators still had a no vote against the bill. One, the provision which made it mandatory for citizens to register. And two, the provision that denied citizens access to public services if they're not registered. The latter clause is one with which the opposition has taken issue. Now, when the bill came to us from the, the lower house, it came with a list of exemptions for the essential services. And quite frankly, although we wanted to add to it because we wanted to ensure access to legal aid and the courts and so on, and we wanted to bring on board a concern from the Jamaicans for justice as to how people who were, for example, HIV positive would be able to access service, we would have lived with it. So what's next for the PNP? We are hoping still that the government will, consider its, will reconsider its position and we reserve our rights to do all that is necessary in whatever forum, including the courts, to ensure that the rights of the Jamaican people are not trampled upon. Anthony Log, TVJ News.